right guys well we're back out for another one this time this is that teal rematch uh, that I told you I'd like to go on so uh, and the, the area is this I'm gonna be hunting that same huge public marsh uh, it's about three miles across three miles wide and it's broken up into about half mile by half mile pools with a dike system uh, this is an evening hunt and in the evening teal generally don't fly all that well in fact they get out into these little pockets out in these uh, reeds and cattails and they'll just set there's there's nothing to get them up and, and move it around so if you were to go out and just decoy this thing uh, you're probably not gonna see all that much so what I do uh, is I go out I find a group that just landed I watch this marsh find a group that just landed into that pocket and then I take off across all this stuff and run them down so now these ducks oddly enough they don't they don't behave like what you would expect you would expect that you go out into the center of one of these half mile uh, wide and across pools fire one shot the whole thing would lift and leave that's not what happens when you go out through this stuff when you shoot the ducks that are right around you about 50 yards get up and move away from you about another 50 or 100 yards and set right back down so they don't they don't act like you would expect them to do so uh, it usually works pretty good uh, on teal big ducks there's a lot more activity during big duck season so you can decoy in the evenings and I do uh, I've got a couple videos uh, check those out about uh, evening evening big duck hunts so uh, but during teal season they, they, they don't do all that much they in the evenings they'll get out there in those pockets and they'll just set so let's uh, let's truck out through here uh, a little background in the spring and summer I do a lot of running Monday through Friday I'll run uh, rucksack that kind of thing just for an exercise program uh, and on the weekends uh, I'll usually go fishing so I'll take that for a recovery days uh, usually Saturday and Sunday so in the fall during teal season or even big duck season until uh, the time change uh, I'll go out in these marshes and uh, throw the gun and the shells on my back and uh, uh, truck out through there for an exercise program. You can get oh, four to six miles in uh, doing this. It's a lot of fun uh, and it's a good workout. So if you've never tried running on a, on a dike system in waders, you ought to try that. You ought to get some of that, buddy. That's a lot of work. So, all right, so here we go. is just full of these little pockets of water like this. This is prime teal juice right here, guys. There's a flock of teal right there. Show it to you here when they come across. 
going to have to get quiet now because they got fuel within about 50 yards of them straight north. That's one. The other one will be right down. There are both of them right there. Two down. You see, I've got some more teal in the air, so I'm just going to hang out here. I've got a small group of about 20 north of me, about 100 yards. So I'll pick these guys up and then head north. We'll go get them. blue wing right there yeah two more that makes five that makes five I need one more there you go this is the last place I saw some uh, teal land in so I'm just gonna hang out here a little bit see if anything comes by um, Another group may want to land up in here. This is uh, this is about a half a mile of water marsh walking right here. So I'm right out in the middle of one of these pools, and obviously it's a uh, prime teal water right here, buddy. Look at this. So, but you gotta you gotta be careful. They'll uh, those dang teal, man. They'll suck you deeper and deeper and deeper into this thing. Uh, and you, you still got to get out of here, so uh, just kind of be mindful of that, right? Because just it's the game. They want to suck me deeper and deeper into here, and then leave me, stand me up, right? Leave me at the dance. That's what they, <laughs> that's what they're looking to do. So I don't want to, I don't want to end up that way. Well, those three just burn me. That blue rock so fast through here, and you know you. You see, you can't see until they're right on top of you, so it's a challenge. Here we go. Here's three. Going down. We want to spot where they go down at. And then we'll go over there and jump. And they are down. So, let's go get them. Number six. There's the limit. And that's teal rematch, guys. Two rematches done. There you go, guys. Teal rematch. Uh, out here about an hour and a half ish, something like that. Uh, what I did was I just. Uh, I'm just doing a marsh run, that's what I call it, just out for exercise, throw the gun on the back, uh, and then try to find uh, try to find where they're at. They're tucked in into these little pockets that I showed you, uh, and you can sneak right up on them. So uh, it's a lot of fun. It's very quick, very fast action. Uh, the vast majority of the shots were 15 yards. Uh, like I said, normally I'll run a uh, improved cylinder choke. Tonight I've got... I've got the uh, uh, modified in, so uh, plenty of horsepower, plenty of horsepower. I'm shooting a reload, it's a three inch, two shot steel. Don't need anything anything more than that for a teal. Uh, they're not all that, all that robust, not all that tough, so. Uh, but there you go, rematch the limit. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. More content coming real soon. See ya.